Hi, my name is Marci Cantu from Cisco Tech Communications team. In this video, I want to show you how to operate ESXi using the virtual KVM interface for a business edition server. First thing we need to verify prior to the upgrade process is the compatibility between our server, the current CIMC version, and the target ESXi version using the UCS hardware and software compatibility tool. For this scenario, in server type, we are going to select the C-series from the Cisco standalone server section. Then, we need to specify the server model we are using, processor version, operating system, and our target operating system version. The tool will show us a list of the CIMC versions that are compatible with the ESXi software version that we would like to operate to. If your current version is not listed as compatible, you may need to upgrade your CIMC to one of the listed versions. To download the correct ISO file for the upgrade, navigate to the Broadcom portal, select the custom ISO tab, and specify the correct version that you are looking for. Download the Cisco custom image for ESXi install CD. Now, from the CIMC webpage, click Launch Virtual KVM. In the Virtual KVM console, click Virtual Media and activate Virtual Devices. Then, click once again in Virtual Media and select the Map CD DVD option. Select the ISO file to upload and then click Map Drive. Navigate to Virtual Media and confirm that you can see the ISO file map to the CD DVD option. Now we need to reboot the server. Go to Power section and select Reset System. Press F6 key to enter the boot menu. Select the Cisco Virtual KVM mapped BDVD 1.22 option. Select the ESXi installer before the automatic boot is triggered. The server starts to load the ESXi installer. The welcome installation wizard is displayed. Press enter to continue. End user agreement appears. To accept it, press F11 key. The installer starts to scan your UCS storage. Select the virtual drive that has the previous ESXi installed. Select Operate ESXi, press our BMFS Data Store option. Press F11 key to start with the upgrade process. Once the upgrade is complete, the server needs to be rebooted. You can see the current ESXi version directly from the Virtual KVM. Now you have completed the ESXi upgrade using the Virtual KVM. Thank you for watching.